Welcome to episode 1567 of the Multiframe Collective. Today, let's talk about OpenAI and some of the recent developments in, in OpenAI. Uh, one being the ability to upload documents, PDFs, into the OpenAI database and then being able to prompt those documents. And the implications of this are, in my mind, just fascinating in that it really is, we are living in a moment where anybody with a great idea and a database of knowledge, just, just by way of example, I have years and years and years and years of archives, digital archives, some that are still physical archives, things that I've researched over the years, notes that I've taken, just tons and tons and tons of data on the prompt of someone else's writing or literature, right? And, and, and it, in my head, if I turned all of that stuff into PDF documents and I were able to upload that, now I am, right? I can put all that stuff into the OpenAI architecture and I can start to prompt that data, video archive, all of it, right? Anything that I've put out there into the world or uploaded into a digital space, I can put into this, this OpenAI architecture and now I can start to prompt things and I can start to incorporate uh, prompts that are forward-looking, prompts that are uh, cross-departmental, prompts that look back to look forward, all these different scenarios that you can use. But the bigger implication in my mind is that we are now, we are literally on the precipice of being able, able to stitch together and create our own party management systems, our own govern assets. I, I don't see any reason why that can't be done or it, it can't be done in the not too distant future with not a lot of effort, right? Not, you don't have to go out and learn code because you can now write that code. You can prompt things in a way that an action or a behavior that you would like to take, and then that can get quickly translated into a code. And I think with the right analyst in an organization, you could literally create the entire architecture. You can start to govern your properties at a far lower cost than you are governing them today. That is possible. Will it be a little clunky at first? Sure, but all of the property management systems that exist today have been clunky. They were clunky in the beginning and many of them are still clunky today. If you put these architectures in place, understand it's gonna be clunky. You're gonna have some early inning failures, but you're gonna have some late inning wins, home runs, grand slams, dare I say, uh, because you have the ability to do that now. There are many other things that have been released that were released over the weekend that make this even more interesting. Create your own chat GPT. You can literally create AI agents on the backbone of OpenAI. Now, there are some organizations out there in the world that have already gone to this. I, they've already created these mentors, right? Whether it be if you use multifamily specifically, you can, you can have a multifamily mentor in the way of a leasing consultant, a system manager, a property manager, a maintenance technician, all of these things, those have, those have already been created. Um, and and that, that's a fairly predictable uh, application of OpenAI, but now you can, you can create your own <laughs> mentors based on your own databases. So you feed your database in, these, these mentors have been put out there. Now you mix that data with your data and that's how this mentor comes to be. So. But now you can do that entire action on your own. You don't need to rely on third parties or subscribe to yet another thing in order to get the benefit of OpenAI and uh, creating mentors that can help teach, train, mentor, and coach your current employee base uh, or even yourself, frankly. That's all achievable right now with not a lot of effort and maybe a weekend's worth of homework and dedication to learning and understanding how it all works. Um, so my encouragement to you today is get out there and learn uh, and understand that there is a whole world out there that is being created and you can be a creator. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.